Okay, 27, 18. Okay. Alright, cool. That worked. Okay, so 27, 18. And 45 degrees. Yep. What was the humidity? 66%. 66. Okay. So I need another five mil of hold up, 145 mil, and a wind. I've got that, it's 140, it's, it's 40, I should say. So, which is all I've got there. Okay. Now. Yeah. Oh, good to go. Right and low, two targets low, two and a half targets right. Tiny impact, right and low, one target low, three quarters of target right. Okay, so. In front. Right, <laughs> Six o'clock, yeah. That was nice dust to see. Just a little bit low. Tiny. Bit. Hit on plate, lower edge, five o'clock. Okay. All right, let's stop with those. Okay. We're on target. <laughs> um. Okay. Same amount of powder, but the 140 grain nozzle. Okay. So, I'm gonna come down a little bit. Ready? Ready. Low. Half target right, six targets low. Okay, well, they're, they're good, but they're BC still relevant. Okay. So we'll just throw some more. Interesting it was so straight, but... Yeah, very nice. Didn't have to adjust windage, which is very interesting. So we'll come up to where I think it'll be. It'll be still too low, probably, but closer. Tall. One target tall, level with the right edge of plate. Too much. <laughs> yeah. The right edge of plate, okay.
On plate, bottom right corner, just in from the bottom right corner, two inches. Yeah, that's pretty consistent. Yay! You got everything you need? Yep. <sighs> And radical. Okay. Tall and oh, right. Correct. One and a half targets right, uh, one and a half targets tall. Well, that was a pure guess. <laughs> well, it was a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah. Huh. It was, not it? So down a couple of it my way, it was a little bit right. Yes, it was. Well, that was um, a bit phenomenal, actually. <laughs> uh. Okay, get everything settled properly. Oh, just off on the right, quarter of a target to the right, level with the top edge of your plate. Right and tall, quarter of a target right, half target tall. I'll do a couple like that. I held it down before and then I shot and it went low. Oh, just off top right corner, just off. I still think that was a bit too high. Yeah, okay. The dust actually seemed to be coming sort of a little bit from behind the plate. Do another couple like that. Hit on plate, top left, eleven o'clock, two inches top edge. Dust, bottom left corner, just off. Well, they're pretty freaking nice. Yeah. Dust, bottom and left corner. I, thought I went to the left. Okay. I heard, I thought I thought I saw right, but I heard you say left. I didn't think what I heard. Okay. Hit on plate, top right corner, just on the top right edge, 130.
okay, well here we are at a target, our 2700 yard target. Um, basically today we're out doing some testing. We've got the tall skinny one, which is the 6506 Ackley Improved, and we've got the um, <laughs> 65 Gap SORM or Short Action Ultra Magnum, which are, both of them are custom cases, both shoot in the 65, and I've come down to a couple of, of um, decisions that I'm doing some testing out here. Um, we running what I found works best at this stage for us is the triple two five powder, so the ADI triple two five or Rotumbo. That's what's working best for us. We've actually found I'm, I'm up around with that. I'm not telling, not going to share exact powder loads, but we're up around the sixty. Um, the the SORM is running a couple of grains more than what the O six is. Um, and last week we did our first test with some of the. Nozzler um, RDFs, so the in the 140 grain, um, the reduced drag factor bullets from from Nozzler perform really well at 100 at um, a one mile or 1700 yards. So I wanted to stretch it out further. We've actually just got this paddock to start to work with, so we can get in to do some more of our ELR testing. And we've stepped it out another thousand yards, so 2700 and I wanted to test and see how it went. The other bullets working very well for us was the 6.5 sorry, yeah, the 6 150 grain Sierra Match King. Um, what I felt was probably going to be the case is the extra ballistics or the extra ballistic coefficient of the, of the, um, the um, Sierra Match King was going to win out and sure enough it did. You know, back in at 100 at um, a mile I would go, I would say that the 140 grain, the, the Nosler um, actually the extra speed with a very good ballistic coefficient for its weight it was going to be the winner and it would be a winner so a thousand yards to the 1800 yards maybe even as far as 2000 it's going to actually end up with its nose in front but after that point certainly out here um, no the um, the extra ballistics extra ballistic coefficient worked for the SMK so that's where we're at at the moment, both very good. I would say the little feeling I got at the moment was that the Nosler seemed to be a tiny bit more accurate. Both of them holding around one and a half MOA out here, but I'd have to give them both the, um, the conditions are very mild, they tend to be a little bit fluffy, a little bit where you get a little changes and you can't really see them. Uh, but neither of the load is fully developed and fully figured out so bullet jump exactly where I'm going to run that exact powder I'm going to run all that sort of stuff not sorted out as yet and the cases are only a little bit into fire forming so there's a little bit of work to go there but both really good um, there's some footage there of all the four different rounds main rounds we tried with the the, the Nosler and the SMK in both of them in the setup and the different loads all got on plate we whacked the plate with all of them all hit very similarly out here um, and there's a fair bit of stuff that was missing just around the place the ground is is showing most times but not quite perfect yet but anyway good day out playing um, freezing cold this morning down below down at 40 degrees Fahrenheit and and almost a zero um, Celsius so cold for um, moving coming up to summer but you get that nice dry we've got our paddock so a lot more to come anyway guys Thanks for, thanks for checking us out and we'll um, catch you next time. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, down below here we've got a link to our web store where we have some of the specialised long range shooting products that we actually produce. Check them out. And for those of you who can, it'd be great to get some help. In our store we have support bits and when you purchase those the money goes direct to our channel and helps us bring these videos to you. Thanks guys. See you next time.